What up YouTubers, this is George. I am the 80's Transformer fan and thanks for joining me for another tour review. One that I'm very happy to be doing. I got this package in the mail about a week ago, maybe a little bit over a week ago now and just had a chance to really review it and I like to keep it packaged so like we can open it together. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm very excited for this thing. This is the uh, oversized version of MP08 Masterpiece Grimlock and um, it's made by a third party company and basically the big deal is well the big deal I think is the fact that he's oversized the size he probably should have been I was never a big fan I never bought the MPX version of Grimlock because I didn't like that color scheme and ironically enough when they oversized it they made that color scheme but um I'm not really here for the color scheme I got it upside down I am here for the oversized goodness of this toy there he is in the foam this is how he comes packaged to you he's snug and secure in there oh, beautiful box looks just like the uh, masterpiece boxes. Mm, huge box. Hardly get it in frame. And he's sealed in this little plastic baggie. Spin it around. Completely sealed and taped. Scissors back. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. Like, this is my early Christmas present. Oh. Oh. And it, it looks directly like, like the car image, but like I said, in my Ultra Magnet review, they don't stick Tommy on the box or the car to try to fool you. Um, they want you to know, they want you to know that it is a KO. And they put, leave it to your hands to uh, decide if you want to get it. Oh man, I'm just I'm gushing right now. Here is the front of the box. Uh, he has on, I believe that's the UK comic book head. I believe that's from the comics. The, the accurate head. Front of the box it says MP.20 Dinobot Commander. Reximus Prime. I wonder if that's on the uh, the real version of this. Assuming it is, turn it around to the back of the box, and you have images of the product inside, just like a real genuine masterpiece box. Shows the contents and the features. It even shows the scale. I'm sure that's not on the original. Shows the scale with the original MP08X Grimlock it has actual size okay here are the two boxes side by side this being the standard MP8 version and his box is actually taller again I don't have the MP08X version to show you guys but I do have the Takar and the US Hasbro version. So I'm going to get this guy open. Swing him around. And this guy actually has tape on his box. My Ultra Magnus had no tape. Box in the background and 
back is some instructions and a collector's card and a little Ziploc baggie. I'll pull this out. Take a look at this. <clears throat> Here is the collector card. Looks a little washed out. Not really uh, impressed by it. Among winners, there's no room for the weak. Alliance Cybertron subgroup Dinobots function commander. And yes, not really anything special. But it's okay. And what I believe to be the instruction booklet. Yeah, pretty on um, pretty good looking set of instructions I always prefer color but it's not bad I already know how to transform the guy so it's not bad to me I don't know how to switch the heads though do I actually see this the head switch I'll show you how to switch the eyes but it doesn't really show you how to switch the heads anyway to the toy itself Try to keep this toy review rolling. There he is in the package. Some things just fell loose. I think the clamshells uh, not taped. There he is. Let's try to get them out of the package. Yep. Clamshells not taped on this guy. Crowns falling everywhere. And let's get the big boy out. Holy shit. My Grimlock has no arms. He he has my Grimlock has no arms. There are no arms in the package. He has no arm. Wow. Wow, you're you're, you're seeing this? My Grimlock has no arms. I mean holy shit. He has no arms. Wow, I guess this is this is the end of the tour review. I'm gonna to have to contact TF Direct. I got him off TF Direct and he has no arms. Unreal. Unreal. Wow, I just I, I really can't believe this. Uh the no arms. Um like I said, I gotta to try to contact TF Direct and um I want the figure. I don't want a refund. I want the figure. And I know shipping from here to China on a large scale item like this isn't cheap. I don't know how they're going to handle it. And and one of my biggest fears is dealing with uh, a foreign company. And then a third party company. The toy, the toy itself, it looks beautiful. Um, what I have, I don't see any... Uh, any uh, defects or bad paint, the chrome, the vac metal gold is awesome. It's very deep. Uh, yeah, it's a good weight to him for what he has. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's my biggest fear dealing with a third party con uh, company in another country or something like this. I, I hope they, uh, I hope they're very professional and because I, I got it like a week ago. I got it a week ago Friday and I'm shooting this Sunday, December 19th. And um wow. I'm just bummed out. I I, I really man, this is I can't believe it. And and, and then it, it uh brings to light another big fear of mine when you're a mint seal box collector and you assume everything in the box is what it's supposed to be and maybe you decide to open it years down the road and you find something like this or you find a brick or a jar of jelly you know i've heard some horror stories before you know people to collect mint seal whatever it is and you can't see the product inside the packaging and um, you open it years down the road then there's nobody to turn to about a, a refund or anything but uh I mean, I probably could review what I have in dinosaur mode, but I, 
I'm really not. I threw the crown on top just to see. It looks awesome. The crown um, has very sharp points. The vac metals very well done. But um, unreal. So I, um, whatever TF source, TF I'm sorry, TF Direct decides to do, I'll do an update video and um, hopefully I get the right Grimlock and and I'll review that and let you know how professional they were or unprofessional they were handling this situation and it's, it's a pretty messed up situation um, uh, thanks for watching and I know some people got a really good laugh and uh, I'll see you soon